Hi everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and I'm back with another project and this is number four of my Festive Friday. Now, today I'm going to show you how to make this really clever, gorgeous little box. Now, it isn't my idea. I case this from a lady called Elvira and I believe her blog is stamproom.com um, I will put a link in the description of this video which will take you to the lady's blog and she has like a picture tutorial on there but it isn't in English um, so hence why I suppose it would be good to do a tutorial so other people can make it but it's really clever how um, the lady has come up with it and designed it and I'm calling it a gem, a gemstone box because it reminds me of a little gem. But it opens up and it's so cute. And I think it would be great to just put all kinds of little gifts in. And it does stay closed itself. Um, you can tie it with ribbon if you want. Now to make it, you need these, which are the window box thinlets, and these are great because they make it so easy to make these little different kind of boxes and you get other little things in there as well so what you have to do is you need to cut this out four times okay so what I've done and I'm using the year of Chia DSP is I've cut four out and I've already done what I need to do to two of them so what you're going to do is they're already scored so you need to cut away these two little end boxes on all four of them all right <clears throat> and then what you need to do um, is just leave two like that okay and then you need to do the other two the same way just cut the two side boxes off but then you've got a score line there and I would say leave about a centimeter on so your score line is there and then you've just got that bit left so you need to have two of them and two of them and that's what I've got okay I've got two of them and I've got two of them all right so that's that's pretty easy really so that's them that we need to make our box and what we also need is we need four little pieces here which are cut at nine centimeters by two centimeters and the score at one centimeter okay and what you need to do with them after that is you just need to snip the ends so you kind of you know mitre it into a little point and I've got one left to do and I'm just going to show you it's only a really small bit that you're taking off there hope you can see just a small little bit to leave a little point okay and you'll see why we do this but that's it so that's all you need to do the boxes four of them and you need two of like that and two like that okay so what we need to do is we need to make these pieces we need to make them into, into eight pieces all together and it's dead easy if you just take your trimmer and you're going to do this with all four pieces so take your trimmer and we've got four centimeters just there so you need to put every piece in one at a time and it needs to be where the bits that we we left which was the long piece and the small piece here need to be facing your left and I told you they all have a score line there that's already put in by the box. You want to line that score line up with the four centimetre mark, okay, which runs all the way. 
so four centimeters line it up with the score line and you just want to cut okay and you'll end up with that so again line it up with the four centimeters and cut so now we've got that and we're going to do the same with every piece and the last one line it up with four and just cut okay so now you'll have eight pieces all right and I'll show you how we're going to put it together it's really easy honestly because when I first found the ladies blog and I went on and I thought oh this looks really complicated and I tried it and it wasn't because I've been trying to figure out how to do a box like this for a while now and I just couldn't and when I came across the ladies tutorial I thought oh wow you know this is exactly what I've been wanting to make so what we're going to do is basically you're going to have four pieces for your base and you're going to have four pieces for your lid okay that's what you're going to have and those little pieces that we made there are going to create these little bits to I suppose make it more stable and help it close better and just look more professional really rather than having gaps so let's just make one of them together so your little score lines that the box already puts in we're just going to fold and burnish them okay so just whatever score lines is left just is visible just score them and how it's going to go together is it's going to be exactly the same for the base or the lid you're going to do the same to both both sets so you're going to start off with a piece like that okay and then this piece that has got the small one centimeter piece on is going to get glued on to there okay like that and then you've got two little pieces left with a small little score line at the top and they are just going to get glued onto there and you'll find it all fits really well and then onto there and that is going to be how you create your box so I'm going to do this one with you and I'll do the other one off camera just to save time and then I'll come back and we'll join them together like the top and the base so we want a bit of glue on here and it's just going to get glued exactly onto there and I'm just going to turn it round to check I've got it pretty straight there we go there's our first little bits together and then we want glue down here and this is going to glue in here like that and those little bits there will obviously be to stick the sides together okay so kind of have them sticking out that way just to make it easier for you to put it together like slide them in that way so that those are sticking over just to make it easier and then a bit of glue on this one and just glue that in there plop 
probably putting way too much glue on. So there you go, that's what you will have. And then you need to pop glue on all four of your little small tabs here to glue them to there. So, and then you're going to do the exact same for the other bit to create your lid or base or whichever bit you're going to have it as because they're both identical. So just glue them together. And as you can see, you don't really need a lot of glue to be honest. I mean, you could use tape as well if you prefer a thin tape. So just glue them together. I love this box. It's so sweet. And I think it would be great for Christmas to put maybe his jewellery in. You know, a nice special gift for somebody or whatever you want to put in it. Okay, so just glue them together. And then the last one might be a little bit trickier than the others. Okay, so that is what you should have now and you're going to do exactly the same with the other four pieces. So I'm going to glue them together and then we're going to attach it as one box. Okay everyone, so that's what you should now have. You should have two identical um, little boxes. Okay, so just decide which is going to be the top, which is going to be the bottom. Okay, so with the bottom, what you need to do is I'll put some tape on these here because what we're going to do is on the bottom you need to glue three of these. You need two at the sides and one at the back. So you're going to have, you're just going to have them like that, okay? So we'll stick these on here. So just try and get them as accurate as you can really. And I've just used tape for these. Okay, so you want the score line to just be a tiny bit above the side of the box. And the same on the other side, on the opposite side. Okay, so just stick them in there. Okay, you can press them down with your bone folder if you want. <clears throat> so that's the two sides done. And then we need one um, on the back, but actually we're not going to do the one on the back yet because We've got one more to put on, so this will be the top of our box. We need one just on the top like that, where the front of the box will be. So we'll do this first and then we'll join them together. Okay, so decide which is going to be the front. And just attach this to the front of your box. Okay, just like that. Dead easy really. Because when it's together, that is going to slot in there. Okay, so we need to join these together. I've 
put a piece of tape on each and it's going to, one of them is going to be glued to there and then this one is going to get glued to there. So really easy. Just take your time with it, that's all. So I'm going to stick this to what will be the back. Again, just, just under the score line. it off this time. Probably stuck now. Oh yeah. Okay so just wanted to try and get it a bit straighter that's all. Okay that's better. So stick that one, press that one down and then peel the tape off the top. And just make sure we have got them the placements right and that is going to stick on to there. Just like that. Just run your bone folder along there, make sure it's stuck. Okay, so that's what you should have and you can fold that back a little bit just to help get it in the right shape and then it should just close up like that. Mine's not staying shut but yeah you can um, you can tie it closed with a ribbon if you want. It just depends I suppose how well you put them together really. Yeah there we go. How gorgeous is that? It's such a gorgeous little box. I love it. Right so we're going to decorate it not a lot because I don't really think it needs it to be honest so there's the little box and again with these thinlets I've used this one here and I've cut out a stitched square in copper because the pattern's in copper and then I'm going to pop this on the top but I mean you don't have to do that you can add on whatever you want so I'm going to get my glue and all I'm going to do is just dab some little bits here in the gaps just to make sure it doesn't drop off. And I'm going to stick this to my stitched square. like that oh, damn. there we go okay so that's that which that is now going to get stuck on the top with dimensionals so I'm probably going to put four on Okay, and then I just want this to go in the centre of the box. There we go, gorgeous, I love it. <clears throat> now, I'm going to pop a little sentiment on this, on this time. So, I am in love with this set, Christmas Pines. Um, you get absolutely loads of stamps. I mean, look at all of them, and some of them are quite large as well. And then it goes with the pretty pine thinlets, which are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm using May the Simp, no I'm not, I'm using May Your Christmas Sparkle with Joy and Happiness. So I have got a little scrappy bit of Whisper White. And I'm going to heat emboss it with copper powder. So I'm just going to wipe it with an embossing buddy. Where's my stamp there? Yeah. 
may your Christmas sparkle with joy and happiness. So my Versa mark, which I had a re-ink yesterday, it was a bit dry. And I'm going to cut this out with a layering, sorry, with a stitched oval. So just stamp that down. Oh, it's much better now I've re-inked it. And I've got silver powder when I want copper. Okay, so copper powder. I need to fill this tub up. Just sprinkle it on. Here we go, and we'll quickly heat emboss, emboss this. Whoopsie, there we go, isn't that gorgeous? And then a stitched oval, which this just fits on, so I just grab the big shot. And we'll just quickly cut this out and our lovely little box is nearly done oh and if you follow my facebook page which there'll be a link to it in the description of this video um on tuesday the 7th which is next tuesday uh 7th of november at 7 p.m. I am going to be doing my first Facebook live so I hope you'll pop along and I'm going to be demonstrating the Stampin' Blends, the new blends and um, there we go so we will possibly make a couple of cards and um, have a chit chat whatever so pop along for that again that's next Tuesday the 7th of November at 7 p.m. Um, okay so I'm going to pop some more dimensionals on the back of the little sentiment just a couple of them will do and we're going to pop this on the front of our little box so I'm going to pop it about there Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I just can't get over this box. It's just, it's amazing. I love it. So glad I found it. And like I said before this, I think the lady is really clever to come up with this. Um, <clears throat> now, I was going to add a little bow, but I don't know if I'm going to have room. These are gorgeous, these little bows. Um, we've got, there's two. I've got Season of Glitz which is them colours and then there's mini gift bows which they're gorgeous I was thinking about maybe popping mm, maybe what about a white one on the top do you think or green so we've got cute little green one I think the white might be a bit plain actually. And there isn't any bra any copper, it's just um, gold. Oh, I don't know, I think the white looks quite nice. Yeah, I'm going to go for the white. They're just so cute. And you get loads as well, absolutely loads. Perfect for just cute little gift boxes like this. Okay, so we're going to pop our little bow in the middle. Oh god, that is just so cute. Absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm going to put the link to the lady's blog in the description as well. So if you want to um, check that, check the lady out. Um, and there we go, and there's the original one that I made. 
just love them so I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll be back again on Sunday and I've got a really sweet little um, tutorial on Sunday so I think you'll like this one too so anyway thanks for watching take care and bye for now